Okay, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make another plate similar to the one that we made last time. But this one is slightly different. I haven't noticed much of a difference between the way they fly, but this one looks a little cooler and, well, flies just a little bit smaller. So let's start out. Same way we did last time. Hot dog fold. Then we'll take the corners and fold them inward again, just like we did last time. Okay, now last time we took it and we folded it downward. This time we fold it downward, except we just fold it straight downward, leaving no room, leaving about more like two inches or so there. So there's like just a plain rectangle, as you can see. Sorry, my lamp's messed up. Anyway, now that we're here, we take it and we do the same thing we did last time, except we're not folding them straight down. Instead, this time, we fold them about to about right there, if you can see that. So that there's about an inch above the end of the triangle. Right there, about an inch. Okay, and same thing with the other side. And then, again, like we did last time, we fold it upward. Now, you may see that it rips a little right there, but that's okay. It won't affect it at all. So take it again, and fold it upward like we did last time. And this time again, you fold the corner straight downwards so that it's just just fold it straight down so it's nice and even about like that there and there's your plane now if you want to you can take the corners and fold them upwards like that but I don't do that because I don't believe that it changes it at all some people say it flies straighter but I don't think so now this one you just throw straight and it should go nice and far and thank you for watching this video